everybody welcome back to runaway roses this weekend we're just out doing a little camping having some fun enjoying the beautiful weather and we did try to go boondocking but it was a giant fail and we'll tell you about that in just a moment Haven't been on a swing in years. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Might fall off. <laughs> Don't do that. We have found that in North Georgia, there is very little boondocking available. Right. There's yeah. some. There's some, but very little. If anybody knows of any, please reach out and let us know because we'd like to get out and do some of that. But, uh, so yes, we did have a big boondocking fail camping trip this weekend. We were hoping to get out and uh, do some uh, boondocking at a place called Dockery Lake Campground, or actually Dock Dockery Lake Recreation Area. Yeah, it's a it's a WMA land and it's beautiful, but it's only made or mostly made for tent sites. Yep. There are well, very few that will work with an RV or a bigger camper. Yep. Taylor's wrapping around me, <laughs> so. So we got there, Carla actually had to make reservations for that, and uh, so uh, she did that a while back, and yeah. so and we got there, and we go down this long gravel road, probably like a mile long gravel road, and fortunately we didn't meet, uh, I guess we did meet one car on the road, but that was like in the bigger section, but anyhow, um, it's kind of a neat area, but it was really more of like a tent camping type situation. There was one travel trailer in there and I don't know how he got in there yeah but he that did. guy definitely knew that he could get his camper in that spot yeah uh, so because like so we got to our spot and it was like on an incline and it was super tight there was no way that we could even get our uh, truck camper up in there so we tried but uh, it was just it was too much so um, so we had to leave yep and then we went to a place called Lake Winfield Scott and it's a really nice campground and it did have some dry camping spots on it but whenever i looked online it said ff which typically means first come first serve but when we got to the campground um went up to the board and it said that reservations must be made online and i could you couldn't even get a signal there once yeah. we got up to the campground decided well let's so I, actually I pulled the camper in leveled it up and and uh, Carla went over to the little what we thought was going to be the pay board and uh, said we couldn't so we decided well let's uh, let's drive back out of here and go try to find a, a cell service yeah. somewhere and it's on a long windy road windy 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 yes it's back and forth I'm surprised Carla didn't get sick <laughs> Uh, I probably would have got sick if I was a passenger, but thankfully I was driving, so we ended up going for miles and miles just trying to find cell service, and uh, and by that time we had gone so far trying to find cell service, we're like, well, let's just find something else. So then we're like, well, Vogel State Park is nearby. That was a problem because they didn't have any spots, or the office was closed. It closed at five. When I got online, it showed they didn't have any spots or they had some, but you couldn't reserve them that, the day of. What did we do? We So we went up to the front office and we did find that there was a, a non-reservation sheet at the front door that had four sites if you're just walk-ups that, uh, that you could get. So there are four sites, um, first come, first serve. So we just went ahead and signed up for one of those and went ahead and parked. And by that time it was a little after eight o'clock. And uh, so we just set up camp there enjoyed the the evening there yep. and uh, although it was really cold last night yep and uh, it's a beautiful state park it is Vogel. very beautiful it's very crowded and it is i think there's part of it that's on a trail for the appalachian trail if i remember correctly but anyway so there's a lot of people that go in there to hike and when you get there it's like they're covered up and right now they're doing construction there so it's not as pretty as it normally is yeah anyway so and there were a ton of people coming in <laughs> to go hiking today as we were having to leave. So they only had the, that 
spot for last night. We were not able to get it again for tonight, for another night. And uh, so we had to leave, and that's how we ended up here at uh, Track, Track Rock. Rock. Beautiful campground, we've heard a lot about it. And uh, our neighbors come camping here. Our spot's not the best, but it was one of the last two that they had. So we're just thankful we got a spot for the night. So what I was gonna say earlier that I got kind of sidetracked, we, that was Friday when we left at around 3, 15, 3, 20. Well, we only had two days. We only had Saturday and, or Friday night and Saturday night to really camp. So we've done all this in two days. <laughs> yeah, j jumping around, but hey, it's the way it goes sometimes when you go camping. And uh, we we're just hoping to get out and do a little boondocking and yeah. try the camper out that way, but uh, didn't. didn't work out, no big deal. We ended up uh, plugging in and uh, running running the Houghton air conditioner heat pump on the heat and it works like a champ. Nice and quiet, nice and warm. Again, yeah. I highly recommend that thing if you're looking at swapping out your AC. Yeah. But uh, let's check out this campground. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. I was carrying Taylor's poop bag and we sat down on my leg. <laughs> and Carl was like, oh gross, it's all warm. Warmed up her leg. <laughs> hey. uh, and then I threw it there on the ground. The, the things you do when you got a dog. Yep. <laughs> So we're just strolling through the tent site area here at Track Rock and we noticed that all the tent sites actually have power and water. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, 15 amp, but that would have been enough. Yeah, for we us. could have saved 15 bucks. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. Maybe next time. They sure do make some giant tents these days. I know. Look at the size of these things. Had so many of Giant tents. Yeah. Bigger than our truck can. <laughs> Beautiful day. Sure is. Golly. This is a beautiful campground, really. Lucked out. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Should have been here the whole weekend. I yeah, guess. really. I should have forgot about the old boondocking and just come here for the weekend. Would have been better. Yeah. Saved a whole lot of time and frustration. And a little money. Yeah, doesn't this look like somewhere where you just lay a blanket out and just enjoy the yeah, have a picnic leisurely enjoy the yes. weather and the lake and the horses and everything yeah. Yeah. hey look at that horse just standing there free range horse down there there he is just hanging out <laughs> doing his thing don't mind him What's he's just doing horse stuff <laughs> so this campground track rock is kind of like a, an equestrian center because you got a whole stables and horses and riding ring and all that stuff so i guess if you got a horse and you're in north georgia come check it out i don't know much about it but check it out this is kind of cool that's pretty cool can we get a horse Mm. Dogs enough? Yeah, dogs enough. I don't have time to spend with the horse. Yeah. That's a that's a big responsibility. That's a big commitment for a horse. Yeah, I think. I've got to get the firewood out. Carla's going to cook dinner over the campfire. So here's what I keep my firewood in. Just a little plastic bin. Keep it simple. Put a bungee on there. 
get quite a bit of foot firewood in there. There's I got a fire starter log in there. We got some of the, the colored stuff and a whole bunch of firewood in there. Probably a couple bundles worth. Enough for a, a night hand cook over. Hey, look what I got. Camp cocktails. I'm not going to make any tonight, but maybe sometime in the future. I don't have the stuff to make them. We got this from our niece for Christmas a couple years ago, and I'm excited to, to try to make some soon. Lots of great ideas in there. Yeah. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? The booster's in the bag. We're about to find out if we're gonna get an extra bar on our cell phone. We haven't used this thing in probably... Since our trip. Yeah, well, it's right been probably a year and a half since we've used a cell phone booster. But we're only getting one bar in this campground, so we're gonna hook it up and give it a shot and see if it works. Let's go. Is it gonna work? Huh? Get one extra bar. <coughs> it is? It's gonna work? <coughs> well... Let's find out. Yeah, we got a mess because we <laughs> haven't used it in a while. Using the antenna, here's the little booster thing. Plug that in. Here's the antenna for it. And then this plugs into the wall. Into the uh, USB. USB. So there we go. We got the antenna mounted to the ladder temporarily. Just ran the wire down, ran it through the window. Okay, so there's the cord come through the window. Carl's got it plugged in. I'm gonna get it plugged in now. What? Oh, it just bumped up to two bars. Two bars, yay, an extra bar. Yay. One extra bar, that may be all you need. Yeah, because I wasn't getting any signal while ago. Like, I, nothing would download. Let's see if something downloads. Yep. I don't even remember uh, where we got this. But we got it from High Boost. It's High Boost, yeah. See the name here. They actually did send it to us. Yeah. And we have, we'll put a link below because I do have a link in the older video. So I'll put a link below this video so you guys can check it out. Yeah, awesome. And not only worked on Carla's phone, but also worked on mine. Two bars. Excited about that. So now we can actually check out some YouTube. Fire. Taylor, if you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it, your tail will show it. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. Yep, I guess you're happy. Happy camping. Camping dog. Tonight I'm making fish stew, and I know that sounds really weird, but I've had it before and it's really good. Um, and some of the recipes I found online have potatoes in them, some of them don't, so I'm gonna make some potatoes. I'm gonna roast the potatoes in our convection oven, which I'm still not quite used to doing. And then I'm going to do everything else in the Dutch oven over the fire. So this recipe calls for salted cod and um, it says you can use just regular cod, so that's what I'm doing. I don't have salted cod. I couldn't find salted cod, so I'm just going to cut up chunks of cod. Put the fish in the... Dutch oven. It's going to be good. Yeah. Todd thinks it sounds weird, but really, it's going to be good. I've had it before. It's really good. I promise. So I got frozen cod from Aldi. And I don't know how it's going to be. I really wanted the fresh. They actually have some really good fresh cod. But when I went in, they didn't have it this time. And I was very disappointed because I had all this planned out. And I'm making do with what I had to choose from. All right. It says four cloves of garlic. So. Next up, cilantro. And actually, I'm going to quarter this, and we're not we're not going to use this much because you can overdo. 
you can't overdo cilantro. So the real name of this, and I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly, is called Bacayo Gusado. And basically it's Puerto Rican fish stew. I think Bacayo in Portuguese means salted cod. Do we preheat the dish oven? Yeah, actually, and I have to do the oil, put some oil in there too, so just hold on. Put some oil in it, just preheat it? Yeah. All right, we got the pan good and hot. We're gonna put on the onions. Oh, oh, Saute those onions. Yeah, we need to probably move the fire down a little bit. That's about hot. Now the garlic goes in. All right, next is the fish, tomato, and everything else. Actually, I probably need to scoop it in because I don't want to dump it in the fire. There's not a ton of it. Next is the tomato. All right, we're adding chicken broth to give it more moisture. We had to raise the Dutch oven up a little bit. Yeah. Get it off the fire a little bit. Yeah, it was a bit. It was a little low. A bit hot. Just on it for a few minutes. Okay. Oregano. All right, we're just pulling it off. Check it out. Looks delicious. I gotta stir it up a little bit, but. It's really good. Looks good. Gotta put some avocado on top. Mmm, that'll be good. Yeah. Fresh avocado is always good. Yeah. Last but not least, we're gonna put some potatoes that we cooked in the convection oven on top. Looks delicious. This obviously is not traditional, but... Nice crispy potatoes on top of the fish stew. Good? It's delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really is good. Fish stew sounded a little weird, but dang, it's good. Y'all need to try this. It'd probably be better with um, poblano peppers, which is the, what the mm. recipe we call for. And it's also supposed to have capers in it. But yeah. Just forgot the capers. I but forgot to get capers. Honestly, it doesn't really need them. <laughs> Might add something, maybe, but maybe. doesn't need them. It's, it's delicious. different colors look at that it's blue blue flames Carlos warm in the butt mm -hmm. hey Taylor did you have fun camping mm -hmm. <laughs> Third campground's the charm. One of our viewers just happened to be camping right beside us and he came up and recognized us and said hello. It was really cool. Yeah, we really appreciate that. His name was Alan Kessler. Yeah, so shout out to Alan. 
appreciate you saying hello. Uh, that's the kind of motivation that kind of keeps us going and doing what we do. So thank you for coming over and saying hello and thank you for watching our videos. Well, that's it. We're all packed up, getting ready to roll on out. Yep. Head back home. It's a beautiful day. Unfortunately, we can't stay and enjoy the day, but at least we get a good ride home. Yeah, we went to four campgrounds and stayed two nights. Yep. <laughs> so next time, hopefully we won't have a boondocking fail, but who knows? Uh, it didn't work out this time, but we still had a great time camping. Went to two beautiful campgrounds yeah. and uh, the weather's awesome. And we met a viewer. Yeah. So I uh, had a great time. Yep. Appreciate you hanging around watching and we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here's what we love about a truck camper. You can park in a fast food restaurant parking lot. <laughs>